Hi guys, welcome back to the another video of AIMI. So guys, in this video we are going to learn the accessories which is used along with the pressure gauges. So guys, before going to our today's topic, I request you please consider subscribing. So guys, let's begin with our today's topic. first accessory which is used is the adapter so guys suppose if the gauge is having the threaded process connection suppose if i have a gauge that is 2.5 inch gauge having the threaded process connection of 14 inch bsb so guys the 14 inch bsb use a very common and 2.5 inch gauge is comes along with the 14 inch bsb connection so suppose uh, i want to, to install that gauge on a line which is having the female connection having the half inch bsp size so guys how this one four inch uh, will fit on this half inch uh, bsp female so guys for that particular application we can go for adapter so guys this adapter provides a, a good kind of the interchangeability and allows us to mount our gauge which is having the different connection size in our line or in our application so guys this is the adapter the material of the adapter can be of SS304 or else SS316 which this adapter provides us a, a conveniency to mount our gauge uh, in a different sizes so that is the 1-4 inch female by half inch male or it can be of half inch female to 1 inch male. So guys moving ahead the next is the pulsation dampener. So guys suppose for the application of the pump when a pressure gauge is mounted on the outlet of the pump so guys it depends upon the pump if the pump is the centrifugal type then the output of the pump will be the continuous the flow will be the continuous in the centrifugal kind of the pump suppose if the pump is of reciprocating pump so in that case we'll get output in the form of pulsations so guys in that application if we install the gauge in that application the gauge will not work properly in that case so guys, uh, for that application, we can go for the pulsation dampeners. The main function of the pulsation dampener is to damp out the vibration or to absorb the vibrating effects. Uh, guys, we can also use the glycerin in that case, but if the vibration exceeds more, then we can go for the pulsation dampeners. So guys, this is say very the construction, the outer body, just like similar to this adapter, having the one end is the female process connection and the other end is the male process connection. So guys, this pulsation dampeners having uh, comes with the material of SS304 or SS316. Moving ahead to the next is the gauge saver or gauge protector, we can call it as. The main function of the gauge saver or uh, gauge saver is to save our gauge. But from what? From the higher pressure. Suppose if the line which is designed along with the uh, line which is designed and the maximum design pressure in that line is suppose 80 bar and the maximum operating pressure in that is the 50 bar as we all know the while designing the design pressure is always more than that of the operating pressure so guys that that is the design criteria but if in certain cases the design pressure is of 80 bar and the maximum working pressure is around 105 bar so in that case suppose if we we have given the customer that is of the 80 bar gauge the gauge there are more chances of the failure of the gauge so guys in that case we can go for the gauge protector or gauge saver so basically the main function of the gauge saver is when the pressure inside the gauge exits it will throw out the excess pressure and to save the gauge so guys that is the main uh, uh, main function of the gauge protector so guys there are two types of the gauge protector the first one is the having the bellows type and the second one is having piston type the bellows type of the gauge protector we can use around it around 2.5 kg uh, pressure and uh, the piston type one we can go for the maximum ranges like the uh, maximum pressure so the material of the gauge protector can be selected as per the requirement and as per the application that can be SS304 or else SS316 also. So guys moving ahead to the next, next uh, accessory is the siphon. Suppose our pressure gauge 
which is mounted on an equipment which is on a very high temperature state. So guys, in that case, the pressure gauge, the, there will be the slightly difference in the reading of the pressure gauge. The normal maximum limit for the pressure gauge to withstand at a temperature is around 100 degrees Celsius or in many cases it will be around 120 degrees Celsius. So what if the pre, uh, temperature exceeds the 120 degrees Celsius? Suppose the temperature at a particular equipment is around 150 or 200 degrees Celsius. So guys, in that case, we can go for siphon. So guys, the main function of the siphon is to reduce the temperature basically. As, as when, the fl pressure, uh, when the fluid enters from the one end of the siphon, it will get a surface area. As we all know, when a fluid enters, uh, from the siphon it will get a surface area and the heat get dissipates dissipated throughout the particular surface area wise so the siphon comes around a lot of connections that will be around 1 4 inch bsp female by male or half inch bsp female by male or else 1 inch bsp 1 inch npt also so guys that's uh, this is how a siphon works so guys, suppose our pressure gauge is mounted on a horizontal line, the line, uh, horizontal line and the temperature of in a fluid in the line is around uh, 150 or maximum 170 degrees Celsius. So in that case, we can go for this pigtail type siphon, which is a type of the siphon. So this uh, first type of the siphon is the pigtail type of the siphon. So guys, as you can see over here, this is the pigtail type siphon and the next one is, suppose in that case, the line is horizontal. Suppose if the line is vertical. So guys, in that vertical mountain, we can go for this U type siphon. So the material of the siphon, it will vary around the uh, as per the requirement and as per the application basically. So guys, the material will be around SS304 or else SS316. So guys, uh, in the uh, large temperatures, the siphon we cannot use for the large temperatures, but in large temperature that is around 600 degrees Celsius or 300 to 600 degrees range, we can go for cooling towers. So guys, this cooling tower can be of fin type or else the perforated type. So guys, this cooling tower also reduces the temperature and uh, reduces the temperature and uh, it, it also reduces the temperature effect on the gauge. So guys the material of the cooling tower can be of SS304 or 316. Basically guys the SS304 or 316 these are the two, two main materials which is used in the, uh, in the instrumentation field. So in some cases, in many cases, some, some of the cases like if in the hazardous environments or uh, is in a critical applications, we can go for Hastelloy, Inconol, Inconel, Incoloy and PTFE. We can go for that kind of material. So guys, that was the uh, cooling tower. The process connection in the cooling tower you know, ranging from the female to male that is just like similar to our adapter that can be uh, that is the mostly the threaded type uh, end of the process connection in case of cooling towers. So guys the next one is the capillary. So guys the capillary is also um, uh, an accessory in the pressure gauges. Suppose if you have equipment which is located at the one end and over here the human cannot go like there is the restriction to go in that area where the equipment is kept. So how we, we will measure the pressure? In that case, the capillary is recommended basically. The one end of the capillary is connected to that particular equipment and the gauge which is uh, gauge is located on the that particular area where a human can go and take out the readings from the pressure gauge. So guys, for the remote mounting function, we can go for capillary guys. So the capillary is also like uh, the one end is the male end and the other end is the female end and on that female end our gauge is mounted. So guys that is about the capillary. The capillary is having the two types basically the armor capillary and the covered one capillary. The armored capillary that is having the armor of SS304 or else SS316 guys. Gauges. So guys I hope you like my video. If I miss anything in this video please do comment below.
and if you like this video please hit like any doubts and queries please comment below and please share it amongst your friends and family on in the social networks so guys thank you for watching my video please stay tuned with mmi